Hey, welcome back to more EWA Adrenaline. We're ending off the year right, and we're doing it to continue the show with Sean Emerson taking on new luchador space samurai sensation space samurai. Wow, that 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 does seem kind of odd. Space samurai Hondo is a new sensation in this company. Just debuted like a few weeks ago. Early on in the company, well, not maybe, not maybe too early, but anyways, Hondo is going up against Billion Dollar Man, Sean Emerson. And speaking of Billion Dollar Man, we see the Billion Dollar Championship go on the line later on in the night as Ted DiBiase Jr. takes on El Patron for the Billion Dollar Championship as El Patron back an EWA title, I swear I've said title I've too many damn times, <clears throat> but damn, it's relevant. But during that pay-per-view, El Patron showed up to challenge Sean Emerson for the championship, and El Patron walked away with the championship, and since then, been in his hands for damn near, what, almost three months. Is it going to change hands once again, or are we going to walk into 2021 with El Patron still being champion? But it's, anyway, <clears throat> as we get things started, with a high-flying, high-end, I don't know how to promote this man anymore. It's, 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 you know what? Screw the promotion. Just watch what Hondo can do in the ring. That's all you need to know. That is all you need to know. Watch Hondo. See what he can do. And take it from there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Lock up with a wrist lock. Sean Emerson in control. Seems to be a common factor for Hondo in his matches. There's always a lock up. But he knows how to use his wrestling holds correctly. Sean Emerson back in control with the Fuji armbar. And controlling. Ooh, targeting the arm with a knee drop. And Hondo, not knowing he was going for there, but. Oh, here we go. Towards the ropes. Over. Under. And a clothesline to put away Sean Emerson. I don't know about you, but to me, Hondo, I'm so happy he signed to EWA, and I can see a future in his hands in EWA in years to come. <coughs> the question is, when it gets, ooh, what a slap. <coughs> question is, when it gets rough, can Hondo keep up with the EWA professional wrestling style that it offers? And remember, keep in mind, this, this company's been around and established in 2014 and still exists to this day. Seems like Hondo's having no... Ooh! And Emerson quickly back in the match after that calf kick countering Hondo's strategy. Momentum just stopped dead nuts on. As Sean Emerson back in control... Wait a minute, we're going to go outside? Not sure what's in the mindset right now, but wait a minute. <clears throat> Springboard, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Hondo just took out the referee. We've seen that before. Ooh, Dr. Teeth. Kicked right back up. 
You're going to have to do more, do more than just that to space Samurai Hondo if you're going to win the match. As he did lose his first match in this company taking on Tiger Heshi. And I got to tell you, you watch either of their matches and you're definitely going to be impressed. And from the top, Avalanche, Victor, here, hold on, hold on, hold on, here we go, here we go, two, three, that could have been a three, that could have been a three, and Hondo just almost toying with Sean Emerson at this point, having no problems or struggles in this match against Sean Emerson, being a former champion and all, I expect, I expect much more out of him. Also, mind you, he he thinks he's a, he thinks he's a deserving billion dollar championship. Which I'll say it again: those of you who don't know, it's not really an official championship. It's just something that Sean Emerson insisted he was going to carry around and have. And well, it's his to do what he wants with, make up his own rules. I really don't care. Wait a minute, hold on. Oh, to a net breaker. From the ropes, here we go. <gasps> and to the outside, phenomenal forearm. Fist to the face. Going back to the ring, Hondo in control. Hyping up the crowd, the crowd on their feet. And up again, another hurricane right over caught. Emerson caught him with a power bomb. I swear I've seen that before. Two, three, and almost. And a diving meteor gets a reverse and he goes straight down on the knees. As Hondo seems to be more of a veteran than Sean Emerson ever was. Well, I guess I can't really call either one a veteran, but... I mean, to my, to my knowledge, Hondo seems like he's been training for years. And another Starship pain... And at this point, Hondo's had many opportunities to end this man. But not just yet does he want to. He's just toying with him at this point. And in control... Going top rope. We're in the corner. Not really. From the middle rope. Knee drop to the face. And again, nothing seems to phase Hondo. As he quickly just recovers from a knee drop from the middle rope to the face. And wait a minute, from the top. Into a frog splash, but gets the knees up. <laughs> and Emerson with the advantage once again. Lifts him up and down onto the announce table.
<laughs> oh! Went for a diving senton of some sort. But Emerson read the play and took advantage. But here we go. Single leg Boston Crab locked in. Possibly going to make him tap out of the match. And fights back and off goes Hondo. And into a 450 trying to stoop to Hondo's level. But gets the knees up. And oh! Speaking of knees! Speaking of knees! One! Two! Three! And oh! I thought that was it! I thought that was it! Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. The MMA style. But gets the rope break. And wait a minute, here we go. Ooh, again. The calf kick to stop. The momentum of Honda possibly back in this match. Here we go, wait a minute, wait a minute to end it. To end it, no. Close line. Is he setting up another knee? Is he setting up another knee? And he does! From the middle rope. We're going to see another crossbody. Setting it up. And again, just toying with Emerson at this point. Into a middle rope cutter to put away his opponent. One! Two, three. And as we are back now live again, Colby McCallum makes his way to the ring as he is. Yes, big announcement. If you've never seen Colby McCallum before, here is exactly why Colby McCallum is one member of BMIW, a new partnership brand with EWA. And it is a stomping grounds for the future. All who want to make a name for themselves, have a match, go batshit crazy. Any reason, give BMIW a call, and I'm pretty sure you're guaranteed to get signed. Careers are made and broken in BMIW, but here we go in the first ever BMIW match to showcase what they are capable of as he takes on the opponent of... Tanaka Seiko. Said to be a very vicious, durable, and just insane. What are we going to witness in the debut, first debut match? Of a B of BMIW superstars in an EWA adrenaline arena in an EWA pay per view to showcase the future and the future lands this coming Wednesday in BMIW's debut 
show are you ready for big match international wrestling and here we go what possibly for a lockup but didn't want it And already putting on the pressure to McCalum with a modified armbar. Snapping, not snapping, bending the wrist and the hand backwards. And wait a minute, and wait a minute, and wait a minute. Quick look for the roll up. Maybe a quick victory. One, two, and not even that. And a belly to belly. Could be it again. McCallum seems to be the. I don't want desperation, but maybe he's wants to find a way to put away Seiko. And wait a minute, from the ropes and oh, into a hurricanrana. No left, no left, no left. Now realizes the ref is down, and the pin cannot be counted. You don't see a face buster like that every day. More of a flapjack, I guess. Either way, you land on your face. It's sick of gearing up for the aggression. End of the corner. Get set. Oh! Didn't want it. Up and a back suplex. Countered with the flip. Oh! Went for an elbow, but just jabs him in the jaw. And McCallum having issues figuring out how to get around. Seiko in a match like this. Oh, here we go. Oh, the knee. Got him up. Close lines. Again, one more, one more, one more. Three. To the outside we go as McCallum follows Seiko. And dropped him down in the barricade. Another Hurricanrana. It seems like Seiko's strategy here is that speed and almost endurance. <clears throat> endurance. Wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Arm trap, cross face. Arm trap, cross face. Looking for a submission. And there's those knees. Getting back in the competition. Seiko. 
up brain pasta Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Mutal lock, mutal lock, mutal lock, mutal lock. Where are now, McCallum? Here we go, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, the test is straight. Oh, into a clothesline. Michaela may be very basic. Well, a brawler, I guess you could say, but sometimes the basic and simple just wins you the, just wins you the match and gets the job done. That's all you need sometimes, just simple. Hey, wait a minute. Here we go to the corner! In the knee, right to the face. Seiko really making a name for himself. As Michaela is struggling in this match. Oh, here we go, here we go, into guy. Oh, into a forearm smash. Here we go. One, two, it could be it. Three, oh, 2.9 seconds. Seiko just kicked out. Oh, here we go. I think he's gonna do it. Not sure he has implied, but oh! Running form for more momentum and up! Brain Buster! Tiger suplex one. Oh, only a one. Oh, up and into the guillotine leg drop. <laughs> At this point, he's just torturing and tormenting Colby McCallum from the top. Oh, what, what a foot stomp. Wasn't enough. Wait a minute. Snapdragon suplex. One, two, and oh, not even that. Very resilient. Tanaka Seiko. So we bring it back into an ends of curry. One, two, three, and oh! Almost. Uh oh, here we go. We're going to go flying. We're coming to go flying. 
Here we go! And oh! One, two, three, oh! Colby McCallum thought using his opponent's own momentum against him to pull off the forearm as he attempted a suicide dive, but it wasn't enough. It just got him a two. And a forearm again. Counter, wait a minute, wait a minute. Kudo driver, Kudo driver, Kudo driver to snap the neck and end the man's entire career. One, two, three. As we move on into the night, again, more BMI W action. One after the other, as Cameron Rose makes his way to the ring and takes on Tyler Steele. And one thing to note in BMI W that they are ruling out, as they see it's, well, not necessary, but the ring outs will no longer exist. The ref will no longer count to 10 or 15 or 20 or 30 or 40 or 5. It doesn't matter. There are no ring outs in BMIW. <clears throat> so you must beat your opponent by pinfall or submission or straight up knocking them out any way possible. And here it comes to make his way to the ring, Tyler Steele. We're getting ready to see some flippy sh stuff. I didn't say it. I'm talking about. I said stuff. I didn't say. Sh I said stuff. Yeah, flippy. Exactly, flippy stuff. That's yes, exactly what I said. <laughs> After witnessing BMIW's first match with their debut of their roster, what will this match look like? And who's coming out number one and putting their name on the table as we move into the debut episode of BMIW this Wednesday. <clears throat> it's going to be one hell of a week. EWA Madness TV, Minor House, and BMIW. And here we go, starting it off strong. Oh, went for a clothesline. Into the stunner. Just unloading a Cameron Rose. There's those chops in the forearm and control. Oh, went for a super kick. Wasn't having it. End of the ropes. Oh, how's we go? Here we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are we flying high? Already flying high. Over the. Oh, right arm of the knee. Overshot it. <clears throat> Maybe undershot it. I'm not sure. Wait a minute. Slingshot neckbreaker to put, put to put down Rose.
and super kick to answer back to Tyler Steele. As Tyler Steele has a super kick of his own. One, not even, not even a two. You got to get the three or the submission to end your opponent in professional wrestling. Oh, here we go. Super kick again. Going up top. Going up top. What's he setting up? Into a moonsault. It just wasn't enough. But what is going to be enough? And we're not going to find out until this match ends. What is going to be enough? And I've been, I, I, I've been saying this this entire show. When is it enough? When is enough is enough? Outside, here we go, back in. Wait a minute, wait a minute, top rope, top rope. And oh, what an elbow. One corner to the next. And oh, an arm drag. Up, up, into a power bomb. No, no. Maybe crucifix. Maybe, maybe, no. Arm drag. Counter from Tyler Steele. Oh, and it was super kick. Another one. Turns around. Poison runner. I don't think I can stress it enough. What a way to end the year and what a way to almost start off the new year with EWA Adrenaline with BMIW now in the books as a partnership getting its own show for rookies and people who want to make a name for themselves every Wednesday. Give BMIW a call and they will answer. Ooh, final cut. Two. Almost. Oh, here we go. Annual Power Slam is Cameron Rose. In control again with a flip sent on. Setting up a springboard. Patent it. Me! One, two, three. No, no, that was only a two. It was only a two. Rafe clarified it was only a two, and I thought it was a three, but it may have just been way too early. Oh, here we go! Cameron Rose fired up. Clothesline sending him over the ropes. I think it's looking for an outside dive. Here we go. The momentum. Launching himself. Over the ropes. And Steele. Back in it. And one of his own. 
Knock them! Take them both down to the outside! And steal back in control! This is the kind of stuff you see in BMIW! Or I guess in this case a show like EWA Adrenaline! It's the time where you get fueled with all the energy in the world! Oh! What for moving? Oh! Secret 9 Super Kit! Oh, from the top! Diving foot stop, it wasn't enough. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute! Small package, no! 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 Caught him! Reversal leverage to and I for a close on, but they both almost went down. Oh, here we go. Ooh! Going for a possible slingshot neckbreaker of his own. But Steele was very familiar with that move as he hits best move salt ever. Oh, here we go. Northern Lights not letting go. Not letting go. Lifting him up and twisting into a final cut. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Could this be the end of the match? Could this be the end of the match? Front flip. DDT to put away Rose. Wrath, one, two, three, and oh! Not enough, not enough. These superstars in EWA and BMW will tear each other apart to get the victory, and that's just what I love about this damn company. The passion, the motivation, and wait a minute, wait a minute, outside! Ooh! Tried to do the same thing, but countered it, wait a minute! Powerbomb position and down! Go steal! Wait a minute, no. No, top rope, top rope. I think we've seen a spot before. Shooting star press. Throws his opponent back in the ring. Is that going to be enough to put away steel? Is it going to be enough? One. Oh my. What resiliency from steel. Only a one after that. And middle rope into a devastating knee strike. Two. I'll say it again. I've said it before. When is enough enough? That's the thing about this show that. Still remains the question. Nobody wants to give up. It's a big pay-per-view. We're going to start off 2021 very soon. And you want to start you want to start the new year with it done right in both these Oh! I'm not sure what just happened.
Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh! Went for a butterfly tight move and just countered it. Speaking of move, Northern Lights lifting him up and got it to a suplex. Spinning neck breaker. And ref may be checking up on uh, Cameron Rose. Something may be wrong or maybe just to his eyes. Something is wrong. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. From the top. Spinal tap. Rolling on the way. All super kick. Both are the same idea. But Cameron Rose was one step ahead of the game. Two. Three. Not enough. Oh, here we go. Drop kick. But rolled out of the way. These superstars will either kill each other or kill themselves to win a match. And where that's going to be, it's going to be as long as they hear that one, two, three, or their opponent tap out or not stand up as far as I'm concerned. Oh, here we go. Another drop kick. But it doesn't roll the way this time it connects. And here we go. Drop kick again. Another super kick. Oh! Battle of the super kicks from the start again. And another one. And another one. Poison Runner! And to put away Rose, Regal Plex, two, not even that. I've got to say, we still got one hell of a show on the way. And more matches to come, this isn't the end. I can promise you that. But keep in mind, we still have EWA Madness TV every single Monday, and that follows up after this. And I don't know if I can handle it myself. Holy, holy, holy. This is going to be one hell of a week. Here we go, middle up again. Maybe looking for that knee strike. Maybe looking for that knee. And he hit it, he hit it, he hit it. Oh, here we go. Shooting star press and the knees get up. Another final cut. Are we near the end of this matchup? Here comes that front flip DDT that Tyler Seals known for. And it gets its hit. This is going to be it. It's just the end of the match. Here we go. As we reach the end of this part of adrenaline. One, two, three, and that's it.